right, welcome. So I'm Mr. Bell, so I'm going to be here talking to you about really chapter six uh, items that are on the homework for this week. So these are specifically um, the FIFO, LIFO, specific identification, and the weighted average uh, costing um, problems. So they start with uh, the eighth problem when you're doing the homework assignments for for week five, that's going to be number eight, nine, and ten, I think, out of the, that problem set. So I um, I have it up here, and so I'm just going to walk through it real quick, and uh, and give you some tips and things with, that you need to remember when you're doing these problem sets. So to begin with, when you're doing these, right, the the eight and nine, they're all part of the same problem. So it's part one and part two. So remember that. Uh, also, all of the problems are going to use this information here, right, in the main kind of table up front. There's also information right below it here that you're going to use specifically for the specific identification problem. Okay, so that's going to be something different. Okay, so we go down. These tabs, right, are different. Um, the, the first one is specific identification. The second one is weighted average. Then we've got FIFO and then LIFO, right? So the idea is you're going to use the same data set for all four of these. Uh, so it's like a company, for example, that's operating and doing their inventory and selling goods, selling merchandise. And if depending on which uh, costing method they use, uh, their, um, their cost of goods sold is going to look different, their inventory is going to look different, and, and ultimately their gross profit and their net income is going to look different down the road, right? The, the tax burden will also be different in the end uh, as, as well. So this is important to understand this concept, and so we're, it's a big problem. We start here. Uh, what we need to do with this very first one is we need to realize that um, this, these numbers here right below are going to be useful for when we do the specific identification. So it's kind of like this, right? So what we do is we're, um, we're setting up so it says the company uses a perpetual inventory system for specific identification. Ending inventories consist of 245 units. Okay, that's total ending inventory. Uh, where 210 are from the January 30th purchase. So right here, 210 Basically, all of these in ending inventory are from these, this purchase. So when we go down here and we're doing January 10, right, our purchase, we're going to have an ending inventory. We're going to have all of these items left. Okay. So, um, so for example, 210, let's put that down here. 210 is 650, right? That's going to be $6.50. And uh, units sold on this is going to be zero. And any inventory units on this is going to be 210. Okay. And it'll, it'll do the calculations for you. When you get the, these main boxes in place, it'll put the numbers down for you for cost of goods sold uh, or for the uh, ending inventory cost as it rolls across. Uh, then we're going to keep building up, right? So uh, five are from January 20th. So January 20th purchase is way is up here, right? That purchase, so $7 units. We bought them for $7. Um, and there's only five of them left here. Five of them left, which means that we sold how many, right? So we had 90 to begin with. We have five that we sold that are left. So we have 85 units that we sold, okay? All right, and then the very last one as we go along here, 30 are from the beginning inventory. And so our ending inventory, we're going to have 30 uh, left from beginning inventory. We had 155 there, so how many did we sell? We sold, uh, let's see, that's going to be um, 125, is that right? There we go. And then our unit cost, of course, is that right here. This is how much it costs us to get them. These, when you do these, remember, this right over here, the $17 or whatever your number is over here, that's the sales price. So this right here is a cost, the costing system. We don't care about the sales price when we're doing costing, 
right? We're trying to figure out how much it cost us to buy these units and which units we sold and how much those units that we're selling cost us originally. Uh, the retail that we sold them for is 17 bucks. That'll be used in part two. So, so anyways, here we go. Um, unit cost, I think, is $8 is what I said. And so there we go. So we got all that right there. We should be able to check our work. Hopefully it all, is all green. Okay. And then we can move on. This red part is not going to be complete until we get everything done, right? We're going to get all the parts done. Okay. So let me, let me do this real quick. I'll do this. Um, with you and walk through these weighted averages. So these look a little different than specific identification. And what I would suggest you do on all these others, right? Specific identification, we were able to kind of piece together from this information above here. Okay. Weighted average, FIFO and LIFO, what you need to do is you need to do them in order from, from the top down. Okay. In order by date. Okay. So at the very beginning, this very first line, we need to fill out that top line and then work our way down. That's what you need to do when you're doing the rest of these. Okay, so for example, January 1, beginning inventory is 155 units at $8 a piece. Whoops, return to question, there we go. All right, so that's actually on there already, right? So we've got that on there. Now January 10th, we're going to sell some of those units. We sell 115 of those units. So number of units sold is 115, cost per unit. Right now we only have what we had at the beginning. So this, the items we're selling are $8. That's the average, right? That's what we started with, that's the average. Really the average is taken by taking the total inventory balance, this 1,240, and dividing it by 155, that will give us $8. So that's gonna be our cost per. What do we have left over, right? Left over is going to be 40 units, All right? 155 minus 115 is 40, okay? And then those units that are left over are gonna be um, the $8 units that we started with. Okay, so that's that's how we work, top to bottom, okay? So that's gonna be a sale. What we do when we sell is we say, we ask ourselves, no matter which one we're doing, FIFO, LIFO, or weighted average, we ask ourselves, which ones are we selling here? Depending on the method, it'll tell us like FIFO, we're selling the first in is the first out. So the oldest items that we have are the ones we're selling. LIFO, Last in, first out, it means the newest items that we have in our inventory are the ones we're selling. Weighted average, we put them all together and average them out. Those are the ones we sell. The average, the average cost is what we use. Okay, so here we go. On this January 20th, this is going to be a new purchase. So, and I'll show you how the average works here. So we're buying 90 more units at seven dollars per unit. Okay, so we're going to. We're gonna buy our 90 units here at $7 per unit. Okay, so there they are. They got stacked in here. We see our ending inventory over here, right, on the right side. Um, what, what, what we need to do at this point, whenever we add new units in, we need to average, average our inventory to get that weighted average. So the way that works is we, we take our $950, $950 here, and we divide it by the number of units that are in our inventory, which is divided by 130, okay? And so that means our average is um, $7.31 if we round up, right? Let's see if it'll like that, $7.31. Check our work. And really, we uh, with this, if you get a red here, uh, it could be a rounding error, so just double check, right? Double check on the rounding, make sure you're there. Kind of go up or down a cent and, and try to make sure it works out for you. That one looks like it's gonna work. Okay, so now on the weighted average, from now on, uh, or from the, on, our, if, on our next sale that we're doing here on the 25th, this $7.31 will be the cost per unit that we're gonna be selling for, right? 
So that's going to be our, our average that we'll be selling for however many units we're going to be doing. So on this one, for example, we're going to be selling 95 units. 95 units. And then that means that we will have how many units left over? Um, it's going to be 30, 35, is that right? 35 units left at the average. The average is going to roll down. We re-average only when we get new stuff in, right? When we purchase new stuff, then we'll re-average everything, which is right here, January 30th. We're going to get new items in. We're going to come up with a new average at that date. So, so that's weighted average there for you. Um, let's see here. Let me let me quickly go through LIFO and FIFO here. The next one here is FIFO. So uh, all of these are going to have almost the identical uh, entry for January 10th, right? Because uh, uh, not accounting for a specific identification. But January 10th, the way it's going to work is we're, we're um, going to be selling the items that we have. FIFO, it'll be the first in. LIFO, it'll be the last in. We just have one batch, so it doesn't matter, right? Weighted average, same thing. It's just one batch. That, that's what the cost is. So it's all going to be eight bucks there to begin with. And we're selling, again, we're selling 115 units. And we end up with, uh, let's see, what was that? 40, is that right? 40 uh, units left. Okay, now this is, this is where it gets different right here on this next step. So when we do FIFO and LIFO, we're going to be adding new items into our inventory. We're purchasing 90 units at $7 a piece. So that's 90 at $7 a piece. And now we have 40, right? Those 40 we had before and the new 90 that we just bought, right? So there's our layers. So that's our FIFO or LIFO layers. So we're just got to keep them separated. So we, knew, we know which ones are the oldest or the, the first in. And we, and we know which ones are the uh, youngest or the newest, which is the last in, right? And which ones are we gonna sell? This one, first in, first out. So that means that we're gonna sell, to begin with, all of these first in items, the oldest items, 40 units there that were there from the beginning. We're gonna sell those um, 40. And then, did that equal our total? No, we're supposed to be selling 90 here, right? And so 40 is not enough. We uh, need to also grab some from the next unit, uh, next group down, which is our $7 uh, per unit group. So we're going to grab 50 from there. We have zero left now in our $8. We sold all those. And now we have 40 left in the $7, right? So let's check this and make sure we have our numbers correct. Oh, that's not right. What did we do there? Let's make sure I got it right here. Oh, we're selling 95. There we go. I had down, we were only selling 90. So I got the number wrong. So it's actually 55. There we go. And 35. There we go. So now we should have that right. There we go. So that looks good. So, so if we were doing LIFO in this case, which is the next one that you're going to do, uh, you're going to be not selling the beginning inventory, the, the, those 40 first, right? You're going to start with the last in first out, right? So the last in or the newest, which are the 90. So you're going to sell all of those and then only five of the others, right? So your numbers may be different than mine, but that's the pattern, right? That's what we're learning here is, is uh, basically what FIFO and LIFO, how it's uh, actually applied when we fill out these sheets. So hopefully that'll help you. Something else I was gonna show you here real quick is part two. This is usually where a question comes up, right? So part two is gonna be this little form to fill out, it's income statement. The sales are gonna be, this is where you use the actual $17 uh, per unit. That's our sales price. The number of sales uh, units we sold down here, mine's 210. Multiply these two together, that'll be our sales for every single one of the methods, right? The, the costing methods don't impact what you sell it for necessarily, right? That's just your sales price. These, the next line, the cost of goods sold here, 
these come from what you just did in part one. So go and look at those cost of goods sold from each of your uh, specific identification, weighted average, FIFO, LIFO. Pull those numbers. There's one number on cost of goods sold, the total. Plug it in here. Gross profit's going to be sales minus cost of goods sold. Expenses are going to be, it's going to be up here, right? Right in this information. And the tax rate information is going to be up here too. So you're going to use those to finish off your income statement. Expenses will get plugged in. Same for everything. Do your calculation. Subtract the expenses. And then multiply the 40% or the 0.4 by what you have as income before taxes. That will give you your income or your tax. And then subtract that out and you'll get net income. So hopefully this helps. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I will help you out. Have a good day. Bye.